Good morning, everyone. Well, today's Monday of Holy Week. Um, we've had all the palms of, of uh, yesterday and the weekend. Um, and I thought it would be worthwhile just reflecting on what Holy Week really is all about. I mean, the word holy means that it's been consecrated to God. Uh, and I think that's wonderful. We're basically saying this week is actually consecrated to God. And how are we going to make some sort of difference in our own lives during this particular week? Because it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a different kind of week. We can't just treat it as an ordinary old week. There's plenty that's going to keep us busy. Uh, but we'll touch on those things as we go through the week. If we have a look at our gospel today, we'll see that Mary anoints the feet of Jesus with a very expensive perfume. That's her way of sort of saying, well, you know, that's how much I uh, respect you, Jesus, um, ha having done that. Now, we note this Mary to be um, probably the sister of Lazarus, who was raised from the dead, because Lazarus was also uh, around at the time. And uh, so there's something extraordinary that has happened in their lives, and Lazarus was raised from the dead. And uh, that pretty, pretty probably had uh, quite a, a big impression upon them. Um, but they had been good friends, it would seem, with Jesus, uh, in that he, he, he responded to them in a special way and, and, and has eaten with them. Uh, we'll remember Mary sitting at the feet of Jesus and Martha saying, um, you know, why are you letting her just sit there instead of coming to help me in the kitchen? And we get that Martha, Martha response from Jesus. But here we find Mary giving a very special treatment. So I'm going to wash your feet with perfume. And of course, she was reprimanded particularly by Judas because he was saying, you're wasting money and we need the money. Put the money in the purse because he's the guy who used to look after the money. Um, and, and so it, 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 was a, a, it was a major sacrifice for her to do that, giving so much to the Lord and is that she kept him in such high, high esteem. And we need to think of well, how, how we can actually reflect towards Jesus this week, uh, knowing what he went through for us, that we can make this week very special for him by what we do. We know that some people get chastised before doing it. And we see that in the case of Lazarus, the, the people saw that Jesus was socializing with Lazarus. And Lazarus, they knew to be raised from the dead. And therefore, people were being drawn to Jesus because of this wonderful thing. And they thought, well, you know, the way to sort that out is to get rid of Lazarus again. I think they would have learned the first time that Jesus, Lazarus uh, managed to recover from death. Uh, not many people have done that. So wonderful things for this week. And let's commit ourselves to them. You have yourselves a wonderful day, and we'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.